Okay, um, this is about Ping An Tao again. Uh, I think we uh, we will come to be noticed. I think the first talk is 2014 when we still doing the construction. At that time, um, we we actually um, we actually have a lot of happening then uh, about building heights, about you know the content of the building. So uh, in these uh, two or three years, uh, we finished the building. And uh, actually, yesterday, last night, uh, some of you may be there uh, to have a cocktail function. So I would like to, um, for the sake of other people they haven't heard about Ping An building, I would like to um, introduce my talk uh, firstly on the um, like uh, project beef and about the concept. And last, uh, the last part will be talking about a mega scale uh, openable gauge. Uh, I will talk about um, the idea, the process, and the testing, and the rationale on how we look at detailed design in the whole process of the uh, uh, like a construction process. Um, Ping An Tower uh, located in Futian district and uh, is uh, the headquarter of Ping An Group. Um, we built on a, land, a piece of land uh, slightly less than 19,000 square meter. Uh, GFA of around 386,000 square meters is talking about power rates of 20. So it's quite a difficult site to build. Um, our height is up to 600 meters and uh, is subject to the councils to acknowledge. <coughs> uh, David told me, uh, because uh, at the beginning I wasn't involved in the design process, he told me that uh, the building of the design of like uh, picking up a piece of cove, so it go all the way up to vertical. I think it's a good representation of how our building uh, takes form and how we look at uh, Ping An's culture. Uh, here is a few thoughts about, uh, although uh, we have built a building, but uh, that is representing the spatial quality of the uh, the lobby that we um, uh, for the uh, entrance door, and uh, we have a uh, multi-story uh, lift lobby to resolve the uh, congestion uh, during the peak hour when people try to come to work in the morning. Uh, so we split the, the, the lobby into a field level. We have double deck lift going uh, to the sky lobby and transfer to local lift. And we emphasize all the space quality, but we don't add too much decoration. We let, uh, uh, we use lateral stone, we lose lateral light, shadow, uh, cast on the floor. We feel that that is more um, representing uh, what the company culture is. A very simple square form uh, treatment on the corner uh, framed by uh, eight pieces of uh, mega column, uh, reduced in size uh, as it goes up. The core takes the uh, central core. We put all, nearly all the leaf in the core, and uh, it's shown carry uh, like a five to six leaf for about uh, 15 to 24. So it's pretty uh, uh, a very com compact. Um, a building that uh, we serve the function. We have uh, overall efficiency 71%, so it's quite a efficient building if you look at it. Um, um, at the top, we have an observation there. We have our Ping An's club. Uh, we open our observation deck to public. Uh, 
uh, of course, with tickets coming in. Uh, we uh, try to create uh, interesting uh, feature like uh, glass for, but as an insurance company, we don't have the ambitions to have the whole four to be glass. Um, we have uh, quite a substantial uh, 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 shopping arcade, shopping retail, uh, right next uh, at the podium of the tower. Uh, the design actually, uh, we want the podium to support uh, more than like uh, uh, 20,000 people working uh, in Peng An Tower. And uh, we are actually putting uh, more and more F&B elements in the retail part, uh, uh, thinking that uh, that will uh, serve better to such a tower of such a population. Uh, we do or we did create a um, um, greenery area, although they are small and patches, but we do want the building look green and we do not give up any chance, even on ground floor, the sunken garden, uh, the podium roof, we put tree, we, we have big tree pit, allow a tall tree, we have a shaded area, um, so uh, people can enjoy a uh, green area within the building. Um, the structure, why I need to talk about structure, I can tell you later. Uh, the structure actually, uh, since it's a super high-rise building, we actually, we go for the severe requirement, uh, cast one or even special uh, structure requirement. We have the uh, podium and the basement shear wall frame and, and uh, RC frame. We have uh, eight meter diameter, uh, although we call it hand duct caisson, but actually we employ machinery to, to, to do the foundation. We have a transfer pay uh, of 4.5 meter thick um, to, uh, to finish up the foundation and start with the core at the basement five. Um, we do have a central core which take the, uh, a lot of the vertical load. Uh, we have trusses to embrace or even uh, cross bracing to embrace the f steel frame outside. Uh, we also have shear wall to increase the structural in integrity of the, um, the, the, the overall building against earthquake and severe uh, bad weather. Uh, diagram, I can show you the red on, of, um, from the left is the central core is around uh, 20 to 30, 30 meter uh, in the central core, uh, taking the leaf, the surfaces, the pie duct, uh, plant room. Uh, we have the external frame uh, mainly by the uh, egg mega column with uh, intermediate uh, trusses, outrigger, uh, and the outrigger help to bring the vertical load back to the central core. So it's a very uh, strong integrated structure. And you can see the overall um, look of the building is actually the structure. You can see the cross spacing, you can see the corner, you can see the mega column being framed by stainless steel, and it's a fully expression of the structure. Green building, we are a green building uh, in definition. Uh, we have double leaf, double death leaf uh, uh, from the, the, the best uh, leaf uh, supplier and um, uh, they are double dead because we want to save space. We don't want to increase our core uh, to, to go for a single lift. We want efficiency for taking people from the ground to different uh, sky lobby. Uh, we want local lift to be efficient as well. Uh, although we, we did need to uh, work out how can we lead people to uh, 
uh, different for uh, give good signage. But yet, we think double deck lift will be more efficient and it can save a lot of uh, 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 lift shaft space. And we also stack up lift uh, uh, in the lift shaft. So we have local lift on the same lift shaft, although we separate the structure um, uh, well to avoid um, any vibration or any interference among this uh, lift system. We have very good sun insulation. Uh, uh, we use a lot of drywall, but yeah, we did put in good sun insulation, uh, even around the lift shaft. So you can hardly feel uh, vibration or sunk uh, interference from the lift shaft. We have a very sophisticated uh, ventilation system, not just on the lid of cooling down the building, but the need to be uh, efficiency when uh, the cooling load is getting less uh, near the core or uh, will be uh, require more around the window area. We do have sensor to taking care of different song or different timing when the uh, cooling load varies. So it's a very sophisticated, intelligent uh, ventilation system. We have used uh, adopt the ice storage system. Uh, we make ice uh, at night time to save when it's the cause or to save the uh, pit uh, um, usage or, or the requirement of using electricity at the same time. So uh, we let the ice melt down or, or cool uh, to, to make cool water. Uh, to serve the AC system. Uh, it has been adopted in other buildings uh, in Shenzhen or even in Shanghai, but we want to run the system better to, to make it more efficient and, um, and, and we want to keep the system working well. Uh, air quality uh, monitoring, uh, we will provide very good air quality, indoor, indoor air quality, and we do have monitoring system to tell us how good they are and what are the um, problem created to affect the um, air quality. Uh, so uh, we do all this um, design and we install all the system to, in, to, to make it happen. Um, Why I need to talk about the mega scale gate? Uh, look at the um, building. You can see um, we have um, we have a lot of um, we have a lot of uh, glass panel. We have two hundred and ten thousand square meter of uh, external curtain wall. Uh, is uh, 175 uh, or 17,500 pieces of uh, unitized panel put up for the external. We need 13 numbers of BMU, uh, the building maintenance unit, to clean up the building. Mainly they are four at the middle of the uh, building, so they serve uh, in four side. And um, they have another four set, and at the top, near the uh, 96th floor to take care of the top half of the building. Uh, we have a big uh, BMU uh, to serve the, the crown, what we call, uh, because it's, uh, it's sloping glass and uh, we need to be very careful on handling the uh, cleaning requirement. Uh, we have another for small number self-climbing machine to take care of the tip top, we call it the diamond crown. So um, we have all that, this kind of um, insulation to just to clean up the building. Um, there uh, also uh, uh, requirement on um, openable window because the, the uh, BMU actually will be stored in each of the uh, mechanical four, like in the middle or 97 four. Uh, the one at the top uh, is a sort of a telescopic BMU. We need very big um, openable 
gate or door to be installed to allow the operation of the, the, um, the BMU. Um, so we start off uh, say challenging ourselves to, to design uh, a very big uh, openable gate, uh, mechanical driven, uh, talking about 10 to 12 meter in width and uh, eight meter in height. I give you an image of this. So you can see, you can see on the two sides the folding. The folding part actually is the uh, openable gate uh, moving from a closed position and then they fold to make the opening. And uh, we have four pieces of this gate uh, around the, um, the four side of the building. We think about the safety and the integration between the BMU and uh, the, this, uh, this folding gate. Uh, this is a full chart. Uh, uh, I'm sorry I didn't translate it to English because they are the original document uh, in our working uh, uh, detailed design team. Um, they always have, uh, you know, from, from the closing position, uh, I don't that's a point. Yeah, from the uh, on the on your on your left hand. Uh, so here is the full chart. This is the closing position, and we have to go through a full chart to how it come to open. You know, to open such a gauge, we are talking about more than hundred ton of a gauge make of steel and kept with glass and stainless steel. So it's a lot of uh, risk to open a, 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 a gauge like that and uh, all the motors should be super synchronized. So we have all kind of question or all kind of risk consideration. And you see, this is the red rectangle is representing it's an optometrical shutdown. So you can see this arrow. If you have any malfunction on the signal or we have any uncertainty on the condition of the opening, whether it's smooth or it's stuck or it's not synchronized, it always kickstart the automatic shutdown. So we have go through all this process. We, we have to tell the system uh, from time to time, how it works or how smooth the, move, the moving part are. So um, the whole process needs a nine month study before we put the operation uh, or the insulation. Of course, we, we, we have the factory fabrication, which take quite a long time. You don't see this uh, simple thing. They are hinged, they look simple. Uh, we are talking about this hinge is like a, a human's high store. So they are mega scale hinge. Uh, we talk about school, it's like my arms, you know, size. So we are talking about huge uh, element uh, made out of steel. They are not welding together because the precision requirement is down to a millimeter. So they have to quaffle, like a quaffle a stone, from a big piece of steel. And they quaffle the hinge, like uh, the joint here, they are one piece. All this, one piece. So they don't rely on welding, they don't rely on mechanical fixing, they just rely on the mechanical property of the steel to give the strength. And they put every single component into position. So that amazed me. And that tell me as an architect, how can you build a building? You need to look at detail like this. So we have to carefully design the building component. We have to make sure all the fabrication is correct down to one millimeter accuracy. We have to test the frame assembly in the factory we have to measure every single component uh, in three-dimensional format. 
we put it up vertically and see whether we have defection problem. We have the committee, the detailed design committee working long time to make sure uh, all the full chart or, or the full chart is fulfilled in a proper manner. So I only have five minutes. I don't think I have another five minutes. So um, this, why I want to share the experience of, the, of this, that tell me, that give me, that let me learn. When you build a building, you just you don't, don't just look at its elevation. You don't just look at its, uh, uh, of course, we, we need to look at the overall um, overall design of the building. But we also need to look at the construction process. We need to look at the detailed design seriously. Otherwise, you don't have a, a steel gauge more than 100 tons in weight. And you can move, although it's slow, move up and down. When the, and it also synchronized with the BMU operation. Uh, it also synchronized itself in bad weather. So I think we, as an architect or as a, a person to, to build a building, I think we look at, we need to look at every single detail of the building, not even, not even on the drawing board, but on the construction process, to make sure things put together properly and nicely. Then you have the final border, Ping An Financial, Financial Center. Now it's finished. And thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.